Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're in the centre of Tala Village. We've got quite a good mini market on the right hand side there, by the way. And when you go in there, it's like in the Latin's cave, and I mean it. You can buy everything. They've even got little bottles of Smirnoff and little bottles of whiskey, those miniature ones. Perhaps if you want that little tot as you're about to head into downtown Pathfoss. Very soon, you're going to get a great view over these rooftops, and of course, it's going to be downtown Pathfoss and the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. That's where we're heading, so don't click off just yet. We're heading to downtown Cater Pathfoss Promenade and Harbour area. So perhaps if you're in the Soniga area or the Taller area, this could be that video for you. And this is the main Ember Road. So we're going to go from Taller to Ember. We're going to wiggle and we're going to waggle a little bit. I think we're going to avoid the main part of Pathfoss because it'll get quite busy at this time of day. And we're going to get down towards the promenade and the harbour area to see what's going on pretty early in the morning and it is actually precisely five past seven hmm. not a lot there's one or two people whizzing around because they, of course they've got things to do and as i mentioned in the previous video it is friday today we're almost live you are live with mr paul in a car as he goes on his hunt for a nice hot latte because of course in the last video i had to go past my favorite coffee shop to keep you guys entertained but don't worry i know one or two good coffee shops in and around Paphos. so we're going to keep on going and we're going to get to the Cater Paphos harbor i'm going to park up in the harbor car park and i'm going to go get a great coffee with my mate sir chris of the sponges yeah the gentleman on the harbor and the promenade that flogs you the sponges. Of course, they're genuine Mediterranean sea sponges. His son and a few other people go out and hunt them down about five miles off the coastline of Paphos. They're not cheap tat rubbish that will be brought in from China. They are genuine ones. Starting off at around about four euros for the little ones. Five euros, 12 euros, 15 euros. He's even got some ginormous ones sometimes at around about 25 euros. So if you fancy a genuine, natural Mediterranean sea sponge, Go and see Chris on the promenade. Say Yasu Gumbaru to him. Senior Marie from me. And you never know. He might even give you a free cigar or two. So this is the main Tala to Ember Road or Ember to Tala. Depends on which way you are going. How much is the price of benzene today? Let's have a look. 154.9. So on that note, if you like what you see, hit the like smash that subscribe please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness as i take you on my travels in and around the island of love and of course if there is somewhere that you'd like me to go drop it in the comments and you never know that little video may be coming very very soon indeed anyway talking about the price of benzene if you're feeling generous and you want to keep the channel afloat, you want to thank us and you want to motivate us to keep on making these little videos, especially for you, why not go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform? Because that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two. How do you do it? All you've got to do is Google these magic words, Marika and me, buy me a coffee, or buy me a coffee, Marika and me. Up will come our landing page. You can choose to read a little bit more about us. And of course, then a comments or two, and fingers crossed, you could gift us that virtual coffee to keep us on our toes and, of course, refreshed as we take you on our little adventures. And of course, you can also join us as a superstar member. And we do thank all of the guys that have taken that little bit extra trouble to make sure that this channel stays afloat. If your name is Lady Kirsten, and of course there is a Sir Scott in your life, we thank you very, very much indeed. And I'd like say a big, big shout out to your grandson, of course. He is absolutely fantastic, and that's because he is Alexander the Fantastic. Thank you very, very much for your support. Nantwich crew, they're in town. We thank you for being our superstar members from the bottom of our two hearts. And if you're in downtown Mansfield, no, you're not the Mac Master, but you never know. He might sell his Porsche one of these days and he may gift us a coffee or two. But of course, if your name is Sir Carl and you've got your very own beauty, and of course that's Lady Rebecca, and you've got a little superstar in your lives, and that's 
Viscount James. Thank you very, very much indeed. And perhaps if you're in uptown Scotland and you're a Baroness and a blonde beauty, she's waiting for it, Baroness Lillian. We thank you very, very much indeed. And of course, Baron Frank. Coming back to Paphos, well, coming back to Ayanapa pretty soon, but they've said that they will come down and see us for a couple of days in Paphos. And we thank you very, very much indeed for that. What's going on here, Andrea? That's what I want to know. What is going on? These traffic lights are on red. They're not supposed to be on red. Mr. Paul's supposed to have this right of way. I've got to get down to the Cape of Paphos Harbour. And now, we are stuck at traffic lights. Oh my goodness. Let's get the big boy cigar lit up and let's take all of those stresses away. Which of course is what happens when you come on a big bird to Paphos and have a great, great holiday indeed. But as we can see, it's a little bit uh, cloudy woudy, isn't it? Should we say that? Cloudy woudy? <laughs> there we go. I've got some maricarisms coming into my English language, by the way. Chopsy mopsy, cloudy moudy. In other words, it's a little bit Sherlock Holmes, isn't it? And for those of you who are new to the channel, the words Sherlock Holmes are no disrespect to the, allegedly the greatest detective in the world, obviously fictional, but uh, there was a gentleman uh, a couple of weeks ago now wrote a comment that said even the gentleman that wrote the books thought that Sherlock Holmes was absolutely S-H-I-T. Anyway, those are the words that we use when something is S-H-I-T. But unfortunately, sometimes things are much worse than Sherlock Holmes. And when that happens, we have now got a new phrase and we call it a gricey. Yes, if it's that bad, we call it a gricey. One or two of you are in on that joke and uh, I'm pretty sure that gentleman is watching because he watches every single video. And I'm pretty sure that there's an awful lot of smoke coming out of his ears. So from now on, we're going to refer to things that are absolutely terribly bad and really Sherlock Holmes as a gracie. Let's keep going because over there, I promise you, is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And when we get there, it's going to take your breath away because it always does. Everybody who's never been to Pathos before but have watched our videos and then comes to Pathos, when they meet us, they always say, they didn't expect to have their breath taken away. And whenever they stand in the promenade in the harbour in the daytime and look out into the blueness, they always say, oh my God, it takes my breath away. And talking about people who are going to have their breath taken away, they're coming to Paphos very, very soon. And they're going to be staying in the Papiana, I think that's how you say it, apartments, on the actual promenade. So there's a set of apartments above all the shops and bars. And you go in the back entrance, that's how you get in there. But of course, when you get into the apartments, you understand on the balcony, there's a view quite simply worth dying for. Who's coming there soon? I'll tell you. All the way from in downtown Cornwall, big, big Cali Mera, to Lady Carrie, and of course, Lord of the Tony. Who else is coming to Paphos? Well, my great mate who likes to smoke a cigar or two. Of course, his title is Baron Von Cigar, or Lord Martin, to those that know him very, very well indeed. Of course, he's coming soon. He's going to be grabbing the hand of his girl, the greatest, 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 greatest accountant in the world. Of course, that's Lady Victoria. And they'll be jetted into Paphos. And we can't wait. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, Dame Anne's coming. Yep. She likes to come out twice a year. Room has it, she may even come three times. You never know. I think so, possibly. Lady Ness coming, yep. Lord Andy's coming, yep. And there's a princess coming as well. And I got a feeling she's coming to the opera. She's gonna be bringing a nice frock and we'll be monkeying around watching the Tbilisi Opera of Bala. Bala? No, Bala's in North Wales, ballet. So we are, so the Tbilisi Opera and ballet are coming to Paphos on the 6th and the 7th of September. So, three seats are booked. One seat for Mr. Paul, one seat for Miss Oching Recivial Booth, which of course is Marika, and one seat is booked for a princess. Princess Tracy with a D. Yep, that could be you. Let's keep going. Traffic is starting to build up because, of course, we have entered the area known as Ish, the oldish townish. 
So we're going to avoid it like the plague and we're going to take a right and go down the back roads to get down towards Tomb of the Kings. So if you're coming to Paphos and you're in a car and you want to learn your way around, this could be the channel for you. Yeah, we don't like to stay on the main roads. Roads, routes, routes, routes. Mm. My English is getting worse and worse. But you've got to forgive me because remember, I am Welsh. Yes, you see, English is not my mother tongue. It's actually Sharkamraig Moyo. That's my actual mother tongue. So English, as Marika would say, is a learned language. Let's keep going. And I wasn't very good at learning things, no. Well, I like driving. Mm. Not that I'm any good. Anyway, here we go. We are heading in the back streets and we're going to work our way to the area of Mortabolos. I think that's how they say it anyway. And then eventually we're going to get down to the Tomb of the King's Road, which is actually the coast road from Paphos to Paya. Yeah, okay, see? You get to learn new routes when you come back to the little channel known as Marika and me. So let's wiggle and let's waggle in the back streets. And this is the oldish town as well, but it's called Metabolus, or I think that's how you pronounce it. So, not a bad area, by the way. One or two churches about, and there's a big mosque somewhere as well, if you fancy getting a prayer mat out. Some people do. Let's go and have a look this way, shall we? This is quite a nice area, by the way. Nice big open area, a couple of bars and restaurants, mainly your Many locals come here, obviously, not that many tourists, but as we come down this way, there is quite a nice, well, restaurant, snack bar, shall we call it, and look at that for a view. And there it is, coming up on the right-hand side, which I'll just deviate a little bit so that you can see it. You see, there it is. Mm -hmm. It's called the Cliff Social. So if you fancy an exciting adventure, they've got a massive outgoing area, little park area, if you've got littlies to play with, cliff, social, yeah, that's where you wanna come. And of course, we're gonna work our way down this way and get into the Tomb of the Kings area. Now, whenever we think of the Tomb of the Kings area, I always think of Baron John and Baroness Louise. And they're coming to Paphos soon as well, yeah, they are indeed. Big shout out to you guys, and a big shout out to their daughter, of course, our great friend, the baby barn hawk. And whenever we mention the baby barn hawk, we've got to remember Harry the Keeper. He's a legend, yeah. And he's proposed. And guess what? She said yes, which was good. We're looking forward to that little wedding very, very soon indeed. Slowly but surely, working our way towards Tomb of the King's main avenue or boulevard, whichever you choose to call it. And we're going to take a left and head along it towards the path of smell, yeah. So, don't click off just yet. And if you do like what you see, smash the like, smash that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness as we take you on our travels in and around Paphos. And please don't forget to go and hunt us down on that Buy Me A Coffee platform, because that's how you can keep this little channel afloat. And we do thank you from the bottom of our two hearts. Let's keep going. Andrea, you've got a job to do. There's a set of headlights. Headlights? No, headlights. They're on cars and me. No, traffic lights. There's a set of traffic lights that need to be changed. At the moment, they're on red and they should be on green. I don't know what's going on with this girl. She came out of Paphos on a holiday, had a fabulous holiday, and ever since she's gone back, she's forgotten her job to switch these lights to green. It's not even complicated, is it? You've only got red and green. Well, you've got amber as well. Does that mean stop? Well, not in Cyprus. Let's keep going. Come on, Mr. Mazda. That's it. Perfect. Thank you very much, Andrea. Let's take a left. We are on the main drag, which is the Tomb of the King's Road, heading in the direction of the Paphos Mall and heading in the direction of the Paphos Harbour. So don't click off just yet, because as promised at the start of the video, we're going to finish with the spectacality of a view straight out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I'd also like to do a big, big shout out to a lady called Sarah. Now, she came to Paphos, it's a couple of weeks ago now, obviously. Unfortunately, our paths didn't cross, but she went to Lofty's Bar in the 
Bar Street area. And I don't know what she was doing there, but probably having a drink or two. But the point is, she was looking for Marika and myself, and she was wearing a T-shirt with the words on it, blue, 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 Mediterranean Sea. One of the girls in the bar took a picture and sent it to us. And uh, well, all I can say is thank you very, very much. It means a lot that someone thinks about us now and again. And Sarah, when you come back, please message us and we'll make sure that we bump into each other, perhaps in the King's Restaurant, perhaps in Lofties, and we'd like to buy you a drink or two. But thank you very, very much. And a big, big thank you to all the people that come and say the big, big hello. Just waving in the background, thank you very, very much. But a lot of you take an awful lot of trouble to come and find us and they come and sit with us and we get to be great, great friends. And some of those people I'm going to mention, perhaps if your name is Lady Deborah, a little bit posher than Debbie, isn't it? And of course there is a Sir David in your life and of course you've got a princess. Sometimes she likes her name mentioned, sometimes she doesn't, but I think she wants it mentioned today, Princess Millie. We're looking forward to meeting you when you come with your mum and dad next year. In the meantime, you have a great, great holiday in downtown Tenerife. These are some of the guys that we've met and uh, they've left a great impression in our hearts. You hear me mention Dayman, Lady Ness, of course. We see these people quite often and they are our friends for life. But every person that we've met, Lady Alison and her mother, Lady Enid, they are absolutely fabulous people and we're looking forward to seeing them again. And in fact, Alison and Enid are coming on a big bird very, very soon. And hopefully they will do us the honor and come and see us at the King's Restaurant in the Paphos Harbour. If they don't, well, we'll be off to the Mayfair Hotel and hunting them down and perhaps popping into their room now and again. And hopefully Lord Kevin and his girl, Lady Cathy, who have arrived in Paphos, will again come and hunt us down in the harbour. We'll be in the King's Restaurant on a Friday, a Saturday, every single week. But you'll find us there often other nights as well, but always on a Friday and always on a Saturday from around about eight o'clock. So, here we are, downtown Tomb of the Kings. Paphos Mall is on the left. Paphos Mall roundabout is right in front of us. We're gonna take a right and we're gonna head down to downtown Kelly Paphos Harbour. Yes, we are indeed. And the traffic down here is a little bit lighter, isn't it, for this time of day. People whizzing around, like I say, it's Crazy Friday. Manic Friday, as it's referred to in Paphos, where everyone's rushing around like crazy because, of course, they've done absolutely bugger all all week and now they've got to go and do what they've got to do. At the same time, they've got to get back home by about 12.30 because that's lunchtime. And after that, hey, weekend starts, doesn't it? Simple as that. Not a bad place to live, Paphos, you know. Not a bad place. A little bit frantic when you're in a car. But overall, very relaxed and very, very calm. And a lot of people like to not only come here for holidays, but they like to retire to Cyprus as well. And some people sort of semi-retire, should we say. They come out for three months, then go back to perhaps the UK or Germany or France, wherever they might be from. But uh, their eventual aim is normally to retire here full time. On that note, big shout out to Lord Analdo. And of course, his girl is very, very own French beauty, Lady Sylvie, and of course, Princess Valentina. And we thank you very, very much for treating us very kindly and entertaining us at the MRV Hotel the other night. It was an absolute pleasure. And hopefully we'll get to see you before you go back to France. We know you're very, very busy sorting out this and sorting out that. So don't worry about us, worry about yourselves and of course your mum. But when you come back, we'll do it all over again and again and again. And Valentina, have a great, great term in Amsterdam and we'll look forward to seeing you in a couple of months, isn't it? We will indeed. Keep on with the game designing, that's what I say. You could make an absolute fortune. When you do, remember me and think of that Bentley. Anyway, there we are. We have arrived at our final destination. Well, hopefully it's not my final destination, but coffee shop is there. This is downtown Keto Paphos Harbour. Thanks for watching. And of course, I will look forward to your company again very, very soon indeed. And hopefully you will join me on my next adventure. Thanks for watching.